Hey guys, what is you on about? Welcome back to another part of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs LP. So today we are here with, I guess, another part. I mean, I don't really know how to talk. I just woke up, so if I sound like a little ugly, I mean, I'm always ugly, but you know, I just woke up. So I just wanted to point that out there. So right now it's like 7 p.m. at night and it's kind of just a chill day. Um, in the last part, we did do some work, I guess you could say. We definitely did go to the vet clinic and, you know, get some coins. <laughs> um, so Astrid, he's actually not in the best mood and when is he aging up he ages up actually in two days so he will be aging up either at the end of this part or in the next part which i'm kind of excited about um and i also do want to adopt a little kitten for oscar and he's eating someone's vomit um how about we not do that because that's really disgusting let's lecture him about drinking from a puddle and someone is crying um coco is this coco yeah coco needs a shower so we're gonna give her a shower um so let me just go where is it let's go over here and we're gonna give a bath to coco because she nasty and look at vixen over here just chilling doing her thing um and i actually got a bird feeder because this came with an expansion and i actually did fill it up off camera or i filled it up in the last part i don't really remember but I, either way i filled it up and um we might have some birds here and we can watch the birds when they come and eat in the mornings and stuff when i was little i used to actually put food outside for the birds in the morning and like they would come and you know eat the little breakfast and stuff um but yeah so i just thought i'd show you guys that and look at ashton being a grown little boy he's being so grown he went upstairs and put himself to bed even though he's really disgusting so i'm gonna have him uh he's gonna go and sleep okay oh and we have a gift um so i'm gonna have you i'm gonna have jake go and open this gift um i think uh one of the dogs brought it in or something and who is this this is Callie. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Callie. I genuinely forgot about Callie. How did I How did I do that? I'm over here thinking that we have to get another pet, another cat. I already have a cat. Are you kidding me? Um, but I do want them to try for kittens, so we will. Um, and let's see how this is going. Okay, so she's almost all clean. That's good to know. Um, okay, so I'm going to have you come over here. I want to see if we can get them to maybe mate. So, oh. The pet is pregnant, so I forgot Callie is pregnant. It's You can tell it's been a while since I played this game. And I think she's giving birth tomorrow because pet births are only one day. So, yeah. And we actually found a broken fossil. So, what can we do with this? Um, how much is it worth? $10. It's better than nothing. And Oscar is hungry, so we definitely do have to fill up the food bowls. So, Oscar, let's fill up this food bowl. And we'll do the schedule time every six hours. It's fine. Um and yeah so let's just actually clean up a little bit and just have the house in a really good spot oh we don't have a sink yes we do but i just want them to have a really clean house because tomorrow we're going all out with the work and all that sort of stuff and what does he have to do for his job so he has to reach level two of his logic skill um so he has to practice his logic skill. i have to get um a bookshelf actually can i go on the computer i think i can go on the computer and actually buy him the book so we're gonna go and buy go and buy anytime we're gonna go and buy a skill let's get a, do i have a logic book i feel like i bought this already i'm having like a really deja vu moment no i have a toddler book i have some catnip as well let's actually check on the catnip garden so we actually have to water it um you can tell we're the best gardeners guys oh we can feed him we, we can feed oscar by hand oh oscar Oh, wow. Oscar, go and eat. Okay, so Natalie's actually heading off to bed. Um, Ashton's in bed, and you are watering the catnip. And I actually want to give Callie some catnip. Oh, look at them. Are they being good? I think they are. I think they're just playing. Um, so we actually have to give Callie some catnip, because I definitely do want to see the interactions. We could give her some nap nip and put her to sleep. Um, I think we'll do the nap nip since it is like 9 p.m. You know what I'm saying? And I'll fill this feed. I'll fill this feed bowl. The feed bowl. You can tell I just woke up. I'm going to fill the food bowl so that the kitty cat has something to eat. Look how cute she is. Aw. She's such a cute cat. I love it. Aw. They're so cute. And we actually have some wind chimes right here. So, like, we can change the pitch. Let's do a high pitch. Um, and we can, like, you know, hear it in the morning and stuff. I guess it could kind of be like our rooster. Um, so, yeah. Oh, my God. Did you guys see that? Oh, wait. What's wrong with my roof? Okay. Um, but did you guys see that SimGuru Graham changed his profile picture? I'll insert a picture for you guys. 
So basically he changed his profile picture to like this bug icon. It looks like it's our next stuff pack, I'm assuming. And I really hope it's a stuff pack that includes all small pets or maybe like insects and stuff. Because I definitely do want more pets than just cats, dogs, raccoons, and foxes. Um, and we still have yet to find a raccoon and fox in this um, expansion and this world and this LP. So we definitely do want to do that. I just have so much on the bucket list. Oh my god, Coco. You know, I mean, Vixen. Go and sleep. You're way too hyper. Okay, and you're just gonna go and head to bed. So yeah, guys, I think I will catch you all when they wake up. Alright, guys, so now Jake is up. He's actually not oh my god, he's actually not in the best mood. Um, but I'm gonna have him come downstairs. He's just gonna relax. I'm gonna have him go and watch the channel. Let's go and watch the news because you know, we gotta stay informed. Okay, okay. And Vixen is actually hungry. Does she have food in her thingy? Let's fill all the food bowls because these pets are crazy. Okay, they're like over here starving. It's probably not the best. Oh my god, we could teach Ashton how to build a tower. Oh my god, that would be so freaking cute. I'm gonna have him just relax. Ashton, when is he waking up? He's using the bathroom in his sleep because that's so nice. Um, alright. <laughs> that's not, that's so disgusting. But alright. Okay, so where is the book? Oh wait, we didn't buy the book. Duh. I'm so insane. I'm gonna have him go and order a book order up okay we're gonna go and do a skill let's do the fit not the fitness the logic level what can we afford that no we can't Ooh. oh my god we have 13,000 small how do we have 13,000 what I'm transferring two how do we have $13,000 oh my god it's been open this whole time we have to go and see how do we have 13,000 simoleons profit that's literally insane Oh my god that's like kind of good because like we know our people are working we can give them their training so i think um we'll just leave it open and like why not like the sims are doing their job it's been open for 24 hours so if we made a profit of 13,000 in 24 hours and 48 hours we'll have like 26,000. oh my god that's like crazy oh my god okay this place is a mess we, oh my god i'm going to just remove this because this is not really appealing Hold up, let me turn down this music. Okay, so we're gonna get a new one. Let's get the Helomatic and we'll get this in white. Yeah, that's good, good, good. And I wanna get a surgery station. I'm not gonna overspend because I do like to, you know, save up some money, I guess. So I think we'll get this. This is 3,000. And this is the most we're gonna spend. Okay, this is literally the exact size. I'll make this a little more bigger. Right. And we'll change the color to mint mint is always a nice color i want to do like a cute like little sitting area so i do think i'll expand this by one and you know have a little like coffee table with some magazines or something you know like how they have it at like the doctor's offices that's kind of what i want to do and i'm gonna okay, get so a little little coffee table i don't want a big one but a quaint size one um maybe that that's cute okay look at that get them some new lights because these are these are nice and all but we could use some new lights so i'm just gonna get some lights and then that's all for our renovation for today Okay, so let's get some ceiling lights. I love these lights because they really light up the place. Like, a lot, a lot. You put the one in here, in here, and in here. That's all. That was a lot of money, but it's cool. All right, and uh, maybe we'll change the color of this. I want to change it because I do like it to be really colorful in this uh, space. So maybe we could do, like, a mint. We don't have a mint room yet. So there we go. It's different. It's cute. It's all right. All right. Okay. So that's so our little renovation, and I'm going to pay them. So I'm going to manage Marcus. I'm going to... First, promote him because he's been working really hard, and we're just gonna keep the store open, and we're gonna um we're gonna promote Zoe as well, you know, make them feel like they're doing something right. A promotion for me? I well, of course, it's about time. I mean, thank you, Mr. Harris. It's an honor. And then we're gonna pay for some training for you. So we're gonna do some brief training. And Zoe also got a promotion. So, Zoe, let's do a promotion for you, and we'll do a brief training. Okay, and they're investing their future. It's Everything is just so good. I'm so happy. And great, just what I wanted, a chance to go to class in my op. Okay, well, you just got promoted. So, with that attitude, we can demote you. So, don't even try it. Okay, so I'm going to have him go and head home. You know, he kind of just stops in for a little bit and kind of checks up on everything. Um, so we can actually do some procedures. We definitely do have to try that. Um, for sure. It's, like, really cool. I'm, like, really excited, guys. Ooh. Okay. But, yeah, we're going to go back and head home, and I'll catch you guys when we get back there. All right, guys, we're now back home, and I think the vet is still open. Yes, so it'll be working for 
a really long time. I actually want to get a window in here. So we're going to kind of rework the photos. Okay. So I'm going to put them like the. Oh, no. Can I move the blocks? Move the blocks. Look at that. Yes. Yes. I love this. This came with the game. Well, the expansion. It's actually really cute. So I'm going to get. I don't know what color. Ooh. I kind of like the blue, but then we kind of have to change like in here. Um, what color goes with? I kind of like the pink. The pink kind of goes. Um, I really like the pink. Like, the, look how cute that is. Like, tell me that isn't cute. Like, are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding? Okay, and I'm gonna move this one out so now they got some bigger room. Oh my God! So let me tell you guys a little story time. So yesterday, well, I'm recording this on Saturday. But basically yesterday, when it was Friday, my art teacher, we were in art, right? And he was like talking about how like he hates the Kardashians. Um, I beg to differ, but um, I digress. So he was talking about how he like hates the Kardashians, but his wife loves them. Um, so like he was saying, what is this? Why did it stop like right there? I'm very confused. Okay, well, whatever. So he was talking about how, like, he gets this mood lit, like, in The Sims, um, when his wife talks about this, when his wife talks about the Kardashians. So then I was like, you know, I was like, you know, hyperventilating because he was talking about The Sims, and in case you didn't know, I play The Sims. So, you know, I just uh, thought it was really cool, and, like, all that sort of stuff. So I just thought, yeah, I had to, I had to tell the story. Like, yeah, so that's our little new sitting area. I think it's really cute, and I thought you guys would like it. Okay. So, yeah, it's like 2 a.m. now. Like, I'm kind of crazy. Oh, my gosh. Look how cute it is. Oh, wait, we have to get curtains. We don't want, you know, stuff. I mean, who's really going to appear into our wind? I mean, you know, these sims are kind of weird. But, you know. Um, I guess I got a carpet. I genuinely forgot that I expanded. And now I have to kind of fix everything back here. So, yeah. Let me just delete. The okay, not the whole floor. No, no. Okay. Up here, everything seems good. Yeah, we just got some roofs peering in, but it's cool. It's cool. All right. Okay, that's all. So she's actually in the fine mood, but not really in a fine mood. Um, we definitely we don't have to clean. Uh, so it's the where's the babies? The babies? Oh my god! Oh, he's like stuck. Oh my gosh! Come out here, Ashton. He's like. Oh my god, I really feel so bad. Like, I genuinely feel so freaking bad. Pretty hungry. I'm gonna bring his high chair down here so, you know, we can feed him. And he can kind of be, like, in the mix. So, I'm going to put it, like, I kind of want to put it, like, in the living room. But that's, like, kind of weird. Like, who puts their child's high chair in the living room? I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna go and clean that. Clean that. And then put Ash in here. Because we don't want him eating on, you know, dirty stuff and getting the flu. Okay, and I forgot to move this. Oh, I, I can't believe I had this, like, there all this time. Okay. All right. Okay, let's do that. And he reached a level two of the thinking skill. Okay. And then we'll just clean that up a little bit, you know, with the Windex. And then we'll give Ashton some food. Okay, hurry up and clean it. Like, seriously. Okay, Callie. Oh, I thought she was scratching something. Someone was scratching something. I don't even know. But, yeah. Okay, let's go and put him in the high chair. Give him some food. Okay. And then we will give him some... What's like a good breakfast? Let's give him some cereal. Maybe some Fruit Loops or something. Or some Frosted Flakes. I love Frosted Flakes in case you didn't know. Oh my god, look how big this bathroom is. Like, we have to get the laundry in here. Oh my god, we have so much to do. But I'm going to have her go and craft. We're going to craft the surgery station. Actually, no. We're going to craft the age up and age down treat. I can't wait to craft ambrosia because those sell for like a thousand simoleons. I saw in Vixella's uh, Cats and Dogs LP that hers actually sells for that much. And it's actually a lot of freaking money. So for now, we're just going to do some age up and age down treats. And we're going to give those uh, to the vending machine in the vet clinic. All right. So, yes, that's good. So she's just going to go and cook up. Well, not cook up, but um, excuse me. Look at these crazy cats go and um send him prowling he's crazy and we're gonna get to know cal we don't really talk to her but yeah okay um and ash is eating look how cute he is oh and i don't want him to age up like he's so cute like look at him oh he's so adorable okay 
but you have to actually work on your logic and I don't know where it is we bought the lot what did the thing say hold up let me see what it said um not a promotion blah 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 oh wait whoops I guess we didn't purchase the book I mean why else would I not be able to find it I don't know but we're gonna browse the intelligence database and we are going to order our logic book. Look at all these animals. We literally live in a zoo. Okay, put Ashton down. Put him down. He can go and play with his blocks or something. Aw, look at Coco. She's like, where the food at? Where the food at? Like, I need the food. Okay. But Natalie, she's just cooking up. She's actually not in the best mood. Oh my gosh, she ages up soon. In eight days. Guys, she's going to become an adult. That's crazy. Okay, but yeah. So we're doing that, doing that, good to know. Oh, look at Ashton. He's going to sleep. Yeah, go and eat and then head straight to bed. He has the itis. All right, um, Coco or Vixen. Vixen, what are you doing? No. Lecture from drinking in the toilet. Lecture her. I'll lecture her about drinking from candles. Okay. Oh, she's so dirty. Okay, we can put that. I'm going to clean this up because that is disgusting. Oh, look at um, Oscar bringing a little flower, I think. Is that a flower or feather? A feather. Ew. You're going to open a, a pile of feathers. And she wants to get out the city. Get out into the city? Oh, we could. We're going to do that. I definitely do want to get out into the city. I literally never even use the whims. So I think it might be a good idea if I do. Okay. You know. <laughs> okay. So how long does it take you to browse the damn database? Like, hurry up. Um, He has work in two hours. Uh, He doesn't really need to complete that. So I'm going to have him just get the logic skill. And look who it is. Look at Coco. I'm going to let them. This is kind of be like. Let's look at Vixen. I mean. Um, this is going to kind of be like the little pet sitting area. You know. Everyone can sit here. Ashen can come and chill and sleep here if he wanted to. You know. It's just going to be a really cozy spot. And I think it's really cute. Like yes. I love. I love little nooks and crannies like this. I just. It's just so adorable. You know what I'm saying. Okay. But yes. So. Um. Whoa. We found feathers in the pile of feathers. No duh. Um, so can we sell these feathers? Or like, oh my god. <gasps> these feathers are worth like $100. What? Girl, oh, we gotta send you prowling more often. I did not know you could make so much money from that. Okay, but I'm gonna go not close it. We're gonna go to the vet clinic. And I'm actually going to put the little treats in the vending machine for people to go and buy. Okay, so let's go and just, just check up everyone. Okay. <laughs> Everything seems kind of good. I'm going to start the cleaning routine. Oh, my God. We could empty the trash. Do it. Oh, that's so cool. And let's just actually check the statistics. So we have to work on the value of our service. We try lowering our prices, raising the quality of your supplies or both. Um, we can try cleaning up the clinic or adding better furnishings. And the quality of our service is actually very good. Okay. And how are their skills? Level four, level one, level one. The level one clinics. Um, they're still going to training, so we definitely do have to wait for them to get out their skills, because they definitely do need to. Because they definitely do need to get out those skills, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm gonna have them just chill, and we're gonna open this, and then put the treats in here, put it in there, and put it in there, so that people can go and, you know, get their stuff. Let's just, you know, have it clean the routine, do that whole type of thing, and look at her cleaning up the trash, that is so adorable. Okay, but yeah, let's actually go and talk to this guy. And what is his problem? He says we're not happy with how long we have to wait. Well, we have so many people working. Like, I generally feel really bad. Okay. Zoe, you should be getting to work. Um, And Bajoran, there's a great party at the nightclub. Why is he, why is he going to the nightclub at 6 a.m.? I'm not going to ask any questions, but we're going to decline. Oh, look at Nika. She's so cute. Okay, but yeah. So look how many people are coming. That's crazy. Okay, but hopefully people go and, you know, buy our stuff, so we need an outdoor trash can. I really wish we had, like, garbage trucks. Oh, my God, guys. Can the Sims team please add, like, garbage trucks to the game? So, you know, like, every few days, like, like, every few days, the garbage man will come and pick up the city garbage. And, you know, you can put out your garbage. Like, I just think that would be so cute. Like, garbage isn't cute, but the, but the concept of the of the garbage trucks is cute to me <laughs> okay um but we can get the city living one that seems kind of nice mm. um let me just expand this because our roofs aren't covering enough oh, whoopsies this is kind of awkward kind of awkward i like how clean and pristine everything looks but i would like um i would like if we had some you know 
some decorations i guess you could say so i think we'll first add some more windows because we never have enough um so i'm going to you know just put some some nice windows so that it looks really appealing to the eye you know for people coming to the vet clinic for like the first time and stuff so i think we'll get maybe i kind of want to do like a bay in here like i want to do like a bay view kind of like sitting area but we don't have the space for that right now in case you didn't notice um so i think we'll do maybe some shrubbery and maybe a path i think that could be i think that could be cute Let's do a little circle maybe that's really big maybe like right here kind of want it to be like a little diagonal kind of thing like that right there make that oh, just i don't want to make it too big that'll work that's a really big fountain and then I want to put like the little frog because you know it's animals, yeah, kind of thing. Mm. I don't. I kind of want it to be like extra because I'm extra. Oh, this is cute. Oh, a vibe fountain. There we go. And then last but not least, some terrain paints. Um, I kind of want to make it like a path kind of thing. So we'll do some stone. Oh my god, we could do like a little gravel kind of thing. Eh, that could work. We could do like this. Mm. Like a little that. This is cute. I like that. Okay. Let me just kind of work. And. There we go. That was actually easier than I thought. Like that. And then for some dirt, you know, add some landscaping kind of thing. Because you know how I'm such a, like, a little landscaper. You know what I'm saying? Some of that. I, it's like I'm doing a speed build with a speed build, a speed build with you guys. Too crazy, oh. but you know, it's still visible. You know, add some dimension, I guess you could say. So yeah, that's our little new and improved vet clinic. Not too much, but it's way cuter. Like, look how cute this is. We're so extra. Look at us. Okay. So now we're gonna go and head home. I'm gonna let them just do their what they gotta do. You know, hopefully people go and buy our stuff. Hopefully, you know. Hopefully we get our skill up. I definitely do want to get to level five. I'm really excited to see like what we get at level five. Um, and I think I've been recording for way too long now. Probably close to 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, I just love playing this game. All right, you guys are now back home. So I think I'm going to end off this part here. It's like 6 a.m. We did quite a bit. But yeah, I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any ideas of the vet clinic, like what we should do, any furnishing ideas, any ideas in general tell me down below because landscaping made such a difference um and if you have any ideas or anything that i haven't done in this game yet like or pertaining to this expansion make sure to tell me down below because i definitely do want to explore every single inch of this expansion so yeah i will see you all in my next video and bye